Hi to everybody, I'm Thomas Bertani, and I try to briefly explain what the point of Oracleize is. So, we keep talking about the potentials of smart contracts, but uh, one of the main limitations of smart contracts is that we have to rely on on-chain data only. So in the previous presentations, you have already seen something like BTC Relay or other price fits, uh, which are essentially some contracts from where you can get some uh, data which should be updated by an external uh, data provider. So essentially this means that there is a party, an external centralized party, that is pushing some data in, uh, with uh, some cryptographic proof uh, to these contracts so that you can fetch this information from another contract. So the approach of Oracle is slightly different. What we have built here is um, a contract interface so that you can use from your own contract um, our service to fetch APIs and data feeds from the internet. So since we are a centralized party, because the fetching cannot be done on chain and directly with some co opcodes or things like that, um, how can you trust us? We are sending a TLS notary proof, uh, which is proving that a, central, a certain content um, was um, given as a result by a certain server at a specified time. So in, in this way, you don't have to trust uh, us not to alter your data, and you are 100% sure that the data coming from us is not altered. So to explain with some code with, uh, what, what I just said, uh, there is no code here. <laughs> uh, oops. I just show directly on the website. Uh, so if you go to this um, subdomain, dev.oracleize.it, there are some sample codes that hopefully now will be loading. And calling Oracleize is very easy because essentially we are providing uh, um, a Solidity file to, um, uh, to import directly in your code. And after that, you have uh, a base contract which is called using Oracleize. So essentially, you can write your code, um, with, uh, and in the definition, you can extend, you can inherit uh, our contract by just typing is using Oracleize. So this is uh, providing uh, some functions, such as Oracleize uh, underscore query. Uh, the code is not loading, so this is a little bit difficult to explain. Uh, let's see if at least the documentation is working. Yep. So essentially, you are sending us uh, an asynchronous um, request. And this is the syntax. So you, you just type oracleize underscore query. And as first uh, argument, you specify the data source. The data source in this case is Wolfram Alpha. But obviously, you can get even, uh, you can use uh, directly any uh, HTTP API you want just by typing as data source URL. So this is asynchronous, and then I'm se we are sending back uh, a transaction which is calling a callback method in your contract. So the only thing you have to do is to implement a callback method, which is described in the documentation here, callback function, and then here you decide what to do with this data. So essentially, you can write uh, uh, in just 10 lines uh, something like uh, um, uh, a data feed, which is always keeping updated the price of uh, Ether um, taking the price uh, from uh, Kraken or things like that. So there are uh, even some uh, utilities you can use because obviously we are sending back uh, this as a string. So uh, we have some JSON and XML uh, helpers. So you can just uh, fetch some fields if you don't need the, the old response back from the API. And there are some helpers uh, so that uh, uh, you can do string comparison, string concatenation, and all this kind of stuff. Thank you for your attention.